if you've watched me for any period of time, you know what I'm going to say. The Bret Hart of acting, the excellence of execution, the best <laughs> there is, the best there was, the best there will ever be, the GOAT, Daniel Day-Lewis. Uh, of course, he retired a couple of years ago after the movie The Phantom Thread, really too young to retire. And I, and I know many others, have been always kind of holding out hope that at some point the bug is going to get him. The bug is going to get him, and he'll come back. Well, apparently, that ain't going to happen. Even though he's had about four years now to four or five years to sit and think about it, uh, his My Left Foot and other films director, Jim Sheridan, was asked about it, about the possibility of him coming back, and this is what his uh, old director said. He says he's done. I keep talking to him, Jim Sheridan told Screen Daily on the topic of Day-Lewis staying retired. I'd love to do something with him again. He's like everybody else. He opens the streamers and there's 7,000 choices and none of them are good. A uh, film has been moved out of the public domain into a private domain. You have a remote, you can stop it. It's not the same experience. It'd be great to see Daniel come back and doing something because he's so good. So apparently people like me are just going to have to get used to the fact that the greatest of all time is probably not going to be coming back. I, I want to put this in perspective, though, for you. From 1990 to when Daniel Day-Lewis did his final film, The Phantom Thread, which he also got a Best Lead Actor nomination for, Daniel Day-Lewis appeared in 13 movies with six Best Lead Actor nominations. That's nearly a one Best Lead Actor nomination for every two times he appears in a movie. Over that span, he won three SAG Awards, four BAFTAs, three Critics' Choice, and three Academy Awards for Best Lead Actor, which worked out to a rough ratio of about one to four. For every four films Daniel Day-Lewis appears in, he wins Best Lead Actor. He's the Meryl Streep of men. <laughs> He's the Meryl Streep. He really Streep of, is. But his ratio One is day, even maybe higher. He'll be as good as her. Yeah. But his ratio is even higher. That's the crazy thing. One to two, like every two movies he appears in, he gets a Best Actor nomination, and one to four for every four films he wins Best Actor. He's and he's like, look, I still contend to this day that these not the single best movie, but the single best performance I have ever seen in any film ever is him in There Will Be Blood. I, again, I'm not saying it's the best movie of all time, but I'm saying I don't think I have ever seen in any movie any performance better than him in that film. I, I, I just been floored. And then you look at what he did with, you know, in Lincoln, and you look what he did in My Left Foot, and I still watch Last of the Mohicans. I mean, the, the guy is just the greatest there has ever been. And I hate the fact, because when they announced he was retiring, I probably, like everybody, thought, oh, I hope this isn't a health issue. Like, I hope he's not sick. I hope he's not whatever. But, and I kind of thought in the back of my head that was it, even though they weren't saying it publicly. To know that, oh, no, he's perfectly good. He just doesn't want to be in the business anymore. That breaks my heart because he's the best to ever do it. And I would love to see him come back, but it sounds like it's really a done deal because, Chris, we live in a celebrity age mm -hmm. where... Jay-Z says, oh, I'm, this is going to be my last album, five albums later. Yeah. And uh, with Soderbergh saying, okay, this is my last movie, four movies later, and all this kind of stuff. And Quentin Tarantino says his next movie is going to be his last. By 2030, we're going to have another Quentin Tarantino movie. But he said he was retiring, and it seems like he stayed retired. What do you make of this? I mean... I don't feel like he's the kind of dude who'd go back on his word. He seems very happy <laughs> yeah. not being in the Cobbly spotlight. Shoes. He seems honest here. Yeah. <laughs> Get it? Get uh -huh. out. Uh -huh. Get out. Well, and isn't he isn't he in Italy working as like a as a like making shoes no, or he's, something? He's, like he's he a loves cobbler shoe cobbling. Thing? Yeah. He's a shoe cobbler. He's cobbling <laughs> shoes now. He, he loves making shoes. He's a really I'm making little a shoe. Man. I'm making a shoes. Shoe. He's a really tall Keebler elf. Like, he just wants to make shoes. And By the way, that was a great nice Italian, uh, yes. Jonathan. Yeah. Perfect well, Italian. It's like it's, one of my uncles. And see, if my Lady roots, Gaga had worked come with him, I, I would have liked her dang movie. All right? That was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, he, he's cobbling shoes. Let him live.
Man, how much? It. How much you guys think the shoes cost? Like made by Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> like, are they like Nike like, collectible honestly, ones? Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so tempted to go on eBay and see if there's a Daniel Day Lewis shoe. Where can you find Daniel Day Lewis? They're not, they're not basketball sneakers. I can tell you. That, I know, though. but still, just his hands on those. Shoes. I think they're oh, called. I get D it. Lu they're called D Louis. <laughs> D Louis. <laughs> Race not impressed. <laughs> Louis. You've been trying to pee willy everything, and, <laughs> and none of them is working for me. D. Louis, I'd put good D. money. Louis. I'd buy some shoes. D. Louis. God. Damn right, I put those on my Don't feet. Don't you start, man. Anyway, guys, question <laughs> is for you. What do you think about that? I mean, like, come on, wouldn't it be awesome? To wake up and find out like there's a new Star Wars movie and Daniel Day Lewis was going to be the lead, or there's going to be a new Marvel film, and Daniel Day Lewis is going to be the lead, or something like that. I, uh, but apparently it's never gonna happen. We wanna take a second and thank a sponsor of today's video, Factor. You know guys, some days it's great to prepare your own meal, but some days it's great to have wonderful, delicious meals already ready to go. Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals makes eating better every day easy. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted, and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. You'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. So what are you waiting for? Get started today and have a feel-good week of meals ready to go. They've got snacks, smoothies, and more. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day like breakfast, midday bites, and more. And guys, you get to save. We've done the math. Factor is less expensive than takeout and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. So guys, head to Factor Meals dot com slash campia 50 and use the code campia 50 to get 50 percent off that's code campia 50 at factormeals.com slash campia 50 to get 50 percent off questions for you guys what do you think whatever you think jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts hey guys thanks so much for watching this video make sure you like the video leave a comment and subscribe to our channel and don't forget we have a daily podcast called the john campy show podcast available on apple Podcasts, spotify or your favorite podcasting app of choice go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it